Okay guys, so adding a live chat to your website is probably one of the easiest ways to increase conversion rate and your sales in general. So just to give you an example here. So I was looking for a new bike for myself, a new road bike made out of carbon fiber. So I went online and after a few hours of research, well, I ended up with two different options here. So it's basically the same bike offered by two different suppliers. So as I was looking through the specs, I couldn't define for sure which size I should select and also I couldn't find the weight, the total weight of the bike. And obviously it wasn't in the description. Now, obviously I needed these questions answered. So guess what? Well, basically I contacted the one that had a live chat box I contacted them, asked them the questions, got my answers, and guess what? Well, yeah, I ordered from them. Okay, so I'm going to show you one of the best, most comprehensive solutions available on the market right now. And the best part, it's free. Okay, let's get started. And for this, we are going to use 3CX. So as you can see, they provide phone system, video, but also live chat. So if you scroll down the page, you will find the info here. So basically you can chat with all your customers. And the main point of installing a live chat, like I said, is to convert visitors to leads and sales. So that's basically the main point, isn't it? So if you scroll down the page again, as a quick reminder, it's absolutely free. So all you have to do is just to register. So you can register using Google or maybe just your email address. And once you register with them, you can then log in into your dashboard and it will look something like this. So let me zoom in a little bit, maybe 200%, there you go. So as you can see right here, this is me. So if I click on that, basically this is my extension, 35910 and my email address. So right on top here, if you click on your icon here, you can change the availability. So are you available at the moment? Are you away? Do not disturb. Are you on lunch or on business trip? And if you click on your name here on top, as you can see, you have all the details about yourself. You can change uh, the theme as well, uh, light mode or dark mode, you know, uh, your language. And right here, this is very handy. Uh, as you can see, you have two different links here. So you can use that actually uh, to anywhere you want. You can send it maybe on WhatsApp, maybe use that on social media or maybe in the signature of your emails for instance you know so if you were to copy this basically anyone clicking on that can uh, have access to your chat box or maybe e-meet all together so you have the two different options and i thought this was very clever you know so let's go back to our dashboard now and obviously you open all this in your web browser now there is a more convenient way as well if you don't want to use your web browser you can also click on this icon here and then you can install either a web app or desktop app so basically you can install that on windows and all you have to do basically is click on either of those uh, buttons here install okay so let's click uh, open one together so let's click on this one for instance and then it will open a spare window like this one that you can keep by the side if you wanted to. And then after that, you have to click on provision. This is basically to, to log into your app. Okay, so open 3CX desktop app. There you go. And let me show you now what it looks like. So it looks like this basically. So this is very handy, especially if you have uh, multiple monitors like I have. So I have my main monitor here and my second one with all my tools here by the side. So what I can do basically is to have this by the side open uh, all day long. And while I'm working on whatever it is I'm working, if I receive a message, I can reply immediately. I don't have to log in into uh, my browser and all of that. So it's a very convenient way of accessing your chat box, obviously, you know. Now, because I'm using a 4K screen, as you can see, this is very small, you know, but you can change that, obviously. So it would be uh, normally full size 1080p if you have 1080p screens. So that's basically why. OK, so now we can close this. OK, so now let me show you how you can install this on your WordPress website. So let's say, for instance, you run a real estate website a business, you know, you have all your different properties. So clearly someone is bound to inquire about one of them, obviously, you know, and you want to be present and, and give that answer immediately. So how can we add a, a chat box directly here? Well, it's very simple. So if you go to your WordPress dashboard, you go to plugins, add new. And right here in the search box, look for 3CX and you'll be provided with two different options so you have this one and this one so this this one is for the live chat this is for webinars so it's a different uh plugin altogether so the one we're interested in today is this one so you click install now and then activate okay and as you can see here you can sign up with them but obviously we've done that already so next step basically we need to link this all together so now we have to go back to our app here okay we go to admin voice and chat and right here on top, as you can see, you can add a live chat. Now it will work with live chat. This is what we're going to demonstrate today. We're going to install that one. But you can also add trunk, WhatsApp, 
and Facebook. So you can link all these chat boxes all together, all at once. So this is absolutely fantastic, guys. You know, and again, I can't emphasize this enough. It is free, okay? So what we're going to do again, like I said, we're just going to add the live chat as a, an example here, okay? So let's click on this together. So add live chat. Okay, now we can configure and set things up the way we want. Okay, so startup mode here, chat icon only or chat box. Well, I suppose chat icon only. So basically the same way we have it here, you know, it's just to check. If you click on it, then you have the two options. So I think we're going to leave it like that. Exactly the same. Destination is my saved. So this is my account. Uh, the website, we're going to fetch the URL here. So control C and put it here. Okay, control V. So what visitor information do you want to capture? Name and email address, just the name, just the email or none i would say probably name and email address at least you have them if you want to contact them afterwards you know how to reach them okay so right here do you want to allow calls and chat so again it's like we have here you know so call with us uh chat with us or call us so same option so this is really up to you and then do you want to show the call button under the chat box yes or no and then we have the styling feature so if you click on this you can select your colors basically okay so as you can see our website is mainly purple so i suppose you want something that stands out you know because if you have the same color uh, there's no contrast obviously so maybe a more vibrant color so people will spot it so i'm gonna go maybe with something salty waters here maybe this one here as you can see this will stand out definitely now as always as you can see you have the example here so this is how it will look like on your website okay the exact same way and then we have the messages here so you can change all the different messages so let's say the first one is the chat box intro so once they click on it what will they see also, for instance, could we have your contact info? You can change this maybe for something else, you know, maybe, hi, how are you doing? Please your, uh, leave your email address or something like that, you know? And you can do the same with everything. You have the greetings, the auto message, etc., etc. Again, this is really up to you to customize this the way you want. Now we have our agent as well. So do you want to show the agent's name? Yes or no? Uh, I would highly recommend you do so. It's more personal, obviously, you know. And what do you want to display? The avatar and the name or just the name or just the avatar or none altogether, okay? And then you can put the default agent's name as well. So this could be, for instance, support team, okay? Or something like that or maybe just the name of, of one of your employees or yourself maybe if you're, if you're just on your own you know and then we have the advanced features as well so this is to enable privacy control obviously if you're based in europe you need to abide by the gdpr laws and restrictions you know so if this is the case you can enable that as well okay so after this don't forget to click save there you go so that's just done as you can see, I forgot to mention that it's also compatible with other platforms, not just WordPress. Uh, you have, for instance, uh, Squarespace, uh, Joomla, Drupal, Wix, Weebly, and I believe as well Shopify, if I'm not wrong. So now that we've completed the setup, as you can see here, we have to copy a URL right here, okay? So where can you find it? Well, it's right there. We have copy here, so just click on this, copy it, and I'll paste it here in that box, Control V, okay? And then you can decide if you want to uh, enable that in all your pages or just maybe just your home page or just your contact page. So that's a very handy feature, I think, you know, uh, you don't have to do anything special, don't need no coding. It, it's up to you to decide. As you can see, our website only has five pages. So we have home, about us, agent, contact and FAQ and properties. That's all basically OK. Now I'm going, just going to enable this for all the pages. Uh, if they, they could be on an internal page and, and wanted to ask a question, this is absolutely fine. And also a very nice touch here, you can show powered by 3CX. So that's really up to you. When you open the, the chat box, you will see at the bottom a small line advertising their services. Now, obviously, they provide all of this to you for free. So the minimum you can do is to actually show your visitors which interface you're using. And it's created by 3CX, obviously, and promote their services. Now, this is really up to you. By default, it's disabled. OK, so this is really up to you. But if it was me, I would take that box and click save after that. OK, so because they deserve it. Again, like I said, it is free, guys. OK, so click save changes. And that's it. We're all set now. So let's go back to our website and have a quick refresh. And as you can see, there it is. Our chat box is right there. And now visitors can decide if they want to chat with you or call you. And as you can see, that color really stands out uh, compared to the, the purple color of our website. So if you were to go into an internal pages, I'm going to click on about us, for instance. There you go. If you scroll down the page and there it is, it's showing up again. So if you have any questions at any given time while you're visiting the website, all you have to do is basically click on this and ask for any information now.
Okay, so let's put this to the test now as if we were a visitors on the website. So I'm going to ask some information about maybe a property that's for sale. Okay, so all you have to do is basically click on this and then chat with us. So it's going to ask for your name. So let's say my name is John. Then my email address is john.doe at gmail.com. Okay, click chat. And there you go. Now we can tap, type our message. Okay, so I'm going to send a message now. There you go. Now, as you can see, I got a, a message here as well, a notification in Google Chrome. So that means that I received a message as well. And you can also have the same exactly on your app as well. And as you can see, the message is right here. So I could reply immediately from the, the app itself. But let's use the Google Chrome one. OK, so we go back here and there you go. As you can see, uh, John says, I'd like some details on the property you have on sale on 6th Avenue. And now I can basically reply. OK, so click reply and then let's type our message. OK. So I'm just going to type, uh, hi, John, uh, thanks for your interest. Uh, please give me a moment while I get the brochure ready. OK, or something like this and then send. And there you go. Now, obviously, John is going to receive the same message here uh, on his uh, web browser, you know, and there you go. This is the message. And then you can carry on with your conversation. So it's very easy to use, very intuitive, and it's super easy for you as well to find all your messages. So basically, they're here. OK, so if you go back to your chat here, you have the list of all your chats, obviously, here. So you can go back in time as well. So if someone contacts you tomorrow and say, oh, I contacted you yesterday. Well, you can simply go back here, click on it, and you have all the details of, of that conversation, basically. OK. So that's very handy. Now, you may have noticed that uh, this is uh, an avatar picture of a woman. So this is clearly not me. So uh, you need to change that as well. OK, so if you go back here and go back on, uh, click on your name, there you go. As you can see, you can upload your own picture here. So open, uh, click on the small folder here, select a picture of yourself, say OK. There you go. And now we can reload. OK. And if you go back here as well, you can reload our web page here and, and basically uh, normally to show uh, my own face this time there you go as you can see this is me okay so this is much better anyways okay so this is how you can change your own avatar picture and let me walk you through all the different options that are also available so as you can see you have team here so obviously you can add more team members and it doesn't have to be you so like we said you can add up to 10 people on this system for free including yourself so maybe an extra nine percent okay so maybe you have susan in accounts and maybe someone in the workshop maybe someone in uh, the warehouse and all of that and they can they can all be connected up right here and obviously you can transfer the chat from one person to the other so maybe you're the one starting up the conversation they're asking for something very specific maybe the size of a box uh, how, how, how much it weighs maybe for shipping and all that you're not too sure so in this case you might transfer that to the warehouse in which case is maybe mike or susan who will answer the call or maybe a reply to the chat okay so this is another feature as well so we have meet so meet basically is like a video conference system so uh, uh, it's asking me to access my camera i'm not going to allow that otherwise obviously you're not going to see me now there'll be some troubles but as you can see it, it wants to use your camera and microphone so you will need obviously one of those devices so this could be a webcam or an actual DS dslr camera whatever you have available you know and once you do so you will see yourself here and you can start uh, having a, a live chat with someone so again this is a fantastic feature and then we have calls so obviously we don't have any calls but if someone was to click on this and click on the button here call us as you can see we'll start the call okay so i just cancelled the call there you go so this is basically how it will work so basically john is here asking for something he's going to call immediately and from the back end this is where you'll answer the call okay so that's very simple again you can do the same thing here and answer the call right there on top as you can see it's the same here on the app so if you click on that basically you will answer the call okay and then we have panel so basically here you have a quick overview of all the activities and what's happening on your website so as you can see you have caller callee queue time and details obviously there is nothing at the moment because this is a fresh installation but this is where you'll see everything that's happening okay and then you have your contacts so basically here this is where you add all your contacts all you have to do is click on the plus sign so I put the first name last name company email address and so on and so on so this is basically where all the contacts are stored and if you click on this you can see your voicemail as well so if someone tried to contact you via phone call and obviously they didn't get uh, through well basically they can leave a voicemail and you can go back here and listen to the message and then we have all our main settings so again we've covered that already uh, briefly uh, we'll go through all the steps here it's pretty self-explanatory you know and then you can set everything up uh, the way you need it 
and the way you like it okay now right here on the bottom as you can see you have apps so this is the, the the icing on the cake so basically you can also install an app that you can use either on your mobile phone or maybe on your tablet or maybe why not your smartwatch if you have one you know and this way you can get uh, notifications every everywhere you go so it could be on the go maybe with your phone and you get the messages as well your chat box may be live and then you can answer immediately even if you are in a bot so as you can see you have the ios app and android app so feel free to install any of those and then you can have access to your chat box even when you are in a bot so as you can see this is a fantastic tool and again i can't emphasize this enough it is free absolutely free up to 10 users now if you'd like to watch another video i'm just going to let youtube decide which one is best for you so just click right here